Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another Marvel comic book reading. Tonight, we're going to be reading Captain America, Captain America, Iron Man, Marvel number five. Huh? Universal Orlando Resort, yeah. Split up. Return to the injured alien. Fifty-one to his old teammates, the pal of the sidewalk, tried to shut down the king on his threat known as the Overseer. Okay, so let's go. <clears throat> Has Captain America ever stopped and looked at himself in the mirror and thought, "Well, this is ridiculous." Is there ever a day when the sheer burden of Perfection threatens to overwhelm him, or is his perfection enough to provide protection from the that particular ex existential crisis? This is this is a man who just re as a relatively short while ago was scrubbed from existence and replaced with a version of himself with who that Hyderia armor happily. Then he returned and carried on secretly missing a beat. It's not the man I object to. The man is a good the man is good and honorable one. It's what the man can do. And it's how those abilities would manifest in some one who wasn't quite so virtuous. Virtue, of course, being such a subjective quality. EOS says, I want everyone who is not in the top floor of the Paladin's apartment building evacuate now. Are you virtuous, Tony? With how you're treated, people, with how you're you treated yourself, sending out automatic alerts, you're a good man trying to be better, but your arrogance, arrogance and your arrogance of all their superpower friends have blightened the, blightened the world. Warning. McDonald is located. Let me know if they get too close, but right now 51 is one as our priority. The rest of us are never going to step up in you and your lot and sure that we never have to. Pats me enough to Steve. Tony? Tony, I'm here with Veronica and then the Paladin. The Paladins. I know they're bad. Guys, they're going to kill Fifty One to cover it up. I'm on my way. I'm on my way over now. They set up. They set him up to be a villain. They could beat so they could stay in the news cycle. You were right about them. Oh, I no, I saw them in as an over eagle glory hounds. Not this. You've got to stop them, Tony. On it. Destroy, destroy target. Krish, what in tarnation are those things doing here? Destroy, destroy the alien. Wait, they're here to kill 51? And that's fine, you go right ahead. We're not going to stop you. Don't mind me. Uh-oh, damn it, darn. Just makes it painless, okay? Just make it painless, okay? What? What are you guys? Oh, hell, hell. Steve the... Steve the... Mandronians are after 51 too. He must pose a threat. Is he conscience? Just about. He says he had made some modifications to start your armor, Steve. Use the right gauntlet to shut down the helicarrier's automatic defenses. Wait, you can understand him now? Wait, I can understand you now? Huh? This is impressive. My HUP just lit up. I think I can override the overseer's control and steer the helicarrier. Maybe crash it into the side of a mountain? Excuse me, steer it the way Steve were coming to you. Are you t talking to me? If you're not talking to me, tell me, damn it. 51's... Sympathies works on machines better than it does organics. 
He's pretty sure he can break into the overseer's operating core and end this whole thing. Not all of us have those earpieces, you know. What you're doing is pretty blank rude. Sorry, Buckethead. Looks like I'll be taking all of my anger out on. Whoop! Damn it. Long live the new tech. Long live Clang. Is there no end to these things? You might be invincible to the helicarrier sensors, but I'm not. They're tracking you by tracking me. We should split up. You'd be better off alone. And miss a golden opportunity to show you the error of your ways? You're not going to save me, Cap. I don't need to be saved. Just because you see yourself as a good guy doesn't mean I'm a villain. In the grand scheme of humanity's long-term well-being, you're the bad guy. I can see what you come to that. I can see why you come to that conclusion. The blunt, honest truth is that while we're here, and it's too late to do anything about it. And do you have a repostate? That didn't start with Abraham Eskrin injuring me with super soldier serum. Serum. It didn't start with Reed Richards building a spaceship. It didn't start with the mutants or the gamma bomb. People. With superheroes were inventively this day, wondrous universe filled with astonishing creatures, none more so humanity. So heroes, superheroes, as we're called, for we were on the horizon from the very beginning. Then you needed you need to be controlled. Anyone who controls you us would use us. So what? You don't even bother. We need to control ourselves, each of us as individuals, working harder to widen our power, more responsibility. Can you really be that naive? You think that's all it's going to take? When you first, when we were first taught how to kill someone with your bare hands, how did you feel? Powerful? Excited? Or were you terrified at the realization that a life could be taken so easily? That's what this is, or at least what it should be. This kind of power brings with it a purity to wield it only when necessary, and only in defense on the innocent. Coming in hot. Roger that, there, Tony. We'll meet you at the overseer's giant head. You dare? I am the ultimate evolution of Machikin. I am the future. I am progress made mechanical. I built to shep shepherd you silly little humans toward a destiny you can barely imagine. My plans for you are immense. I am the new tech. Yeah. Let Ultron, would you eat? Yeah, Ultron would eat, eat you alive. You're a blank. 51's going to have a chat with you now. You stay away from me. <laughs> Measuring on to me. Veronica, stop him. We had something good, something real. Don't let them do this. I'll make you a queen. I'm already a queen, baby, beep, beep, beep. Stay away from me, stay away. Mythion, save me. They're killing your god. Save me, save. Um, are they? Why did they stop moving? Mythians, you are released. Got to admit, ending this particular just jaunt without a big fight is a nice change of pace. But we can't just let them go, can we? I mean, there's still a... We're not the bad guys. But you're going to treat us like bad guys. Aren't you? You're going to throw us in jail. You've got to understand we can't just let that happen. You know what we got to do, right? Yeah, kid. We know. They know they're beaten, but they give it their best shot. It's a... Admiral, as it is stupid. Senator Baker, he recognized they need to be more what they need were when they, when he told me he'd found her our first team. The plans we had for these folks, pinning them against specifically chosen Hydra squads, getting their names out there, giving them some early wins. They were going to have an easy ride of it, but things changed. Plans got rewritten. You learn to roll with the punches or you get flattened. Pity. They were relatively nice kids when their things were going their way. 
Fox had the makings of a real leader. Prima Donna could have been one of the greats if she just learned to get over her own insecurities. Think that was nothing but potential and pioneered. Hell, I'm still not even sure what pioneer power is. Something about ghosts. This isn't fair. Fair. We weren't given a chance to prove ourselves. Every second of every day is your chance to prove yourself, kid. Not everyone is cut out for this line of work. Not everyone with a power has this necessary sense of responsibility. There's a young man I could have introduced you to. So you spend day with him. You understand. Between the jokes and the swinging around, you understand. But you don't get to. De but you don't get to spend the day with that young man. You were testing and found waiting. 51, you ready to come back out now? Hello, Mr. Stark. 51, Overseer. I am experiencing an odd sensation. I have coroners and bulkheads and eyes and an overwhelming ambient toward the human race. Whether the ambient ambience were, were mutate into something serious remains, I think, to be seen. I think you could come back out to us, 51. I'm sorry, Captain. I need time to process my new state. Please vacate my being. We uh, we can't do that. I understand your dilemma, however. It was not a request. All I wanted to do was make the world a better place. Yeah, I plan to kill every last supervillain, superhero, and supervillain to do it. But there's the there's the whole thing about omelets and eggs that I think is a topical. Point being, my intentions were honorable, even if my methods were downright nasty. That being the case, I really don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Maybe I'm getting soft. Maybe I'm getting soft. Or maybe it just doesn't make sense that the best of them should have to die if the rest of them are still walking around. Alive, he can be the symbol he always always meant to be. Maybe he can teach them to be better. If he can spare the time after wiping that smug smile off his face. Tony Stark's apartment days later. Knock. Thought you might like a coffee. Thanks. Want to come in? Put the world put the world to rights. Solve all of our problems over a cup of joe. Solve them? No. Talk about them? Sure. You're definitely being weird lately. The fastest version of me thought he had. All the answers I determined never to be precumbrous. Any word on the helicarrier, Veronica? The helicarrier's cloak is proving to be annoying effectively, and Veronica already gave her new jailers the slip. She'd been trained to disappear, though with her allies taken down and her enemies closing in. Wherever she is, she's alone. And do you have any idea if she was already a Hydra agent when you got her in the front door at S at Shield? You know what? I never asked. I doubt she'd have been straight with me even if I had. She's a remarkable person, Steve, but we've known a lot of remarkable people and we know how they end up. Either welding the power they're so desperate to seize or being crushed by it. Nowhere to be nowhere to nowhere to go, Miss And then And that's it. Wait. Zemo. Shit. The end. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this video for more. Thank you everybody for being here and I appreciate all your support.